Welcome new return alloy subscribers who's been rocking with me since day one. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is Triple Two Infinity. Hello, this is Triple Two Infinity. And any negative intentions or evil eyes sent to harm me or my loyal subscribers, listen to this way. I'm sending it back your way. Kapow! Just like that. Kapow! All right, let's get into your read. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to contribute or sow a seed, you can screenshot this if you like, or if I try to remember to leave it in the description below. But there's my email contact information and also a way that you can send me a payment or donate or contribute in some type of way. Okay, you could be any zodiac sign and have Gemini anywhere in your placements. Energy is fluid, timeless. This will reach you at the right time as supposed to. Energy is interchangeable. You could be on the other side, so can they. The roles can flip. Please do not try to claim the energy as your own, for it may not even, you know, resonate with you. Hopefully, you understand, understand, and overstand. Let's get into your messages. I also pray to meditate it over your read. Okay, so no need to worry. Um, let's see. Okay, listen. Some of y'all future is so bright. So, it's so, and see, I know a lot of people say, it's just, you know, it's timeless or whatever, but if this message reaches you, it's reaching you at the right time it's supposed to. One, two, three, four, it could be an angel number you could be seeing, letting you know things are falling into place, things are, are, are aligning, things are aligning. That's about expansion, leadership, uh, harmony, things falling into place and balancing your life, things expanding. You know, you may be expanding something, something may be going up, I'm seeing increase and instantaneous increase of financial breakthrough um protection from all harm um that's also about travel i'm seeing a compass here it's also about traveling some of y'all will be traveling going to some higher heights uh -huh, that's what i'm saying some of you guys are gonna be doing things you never thought you ever do before you know but it's gonna bring in a lot of wealth this is what i'm hearing i'm also picking up on an energy there's an Aries that you could be connected to. Some of y'all is a Pisces, and some of y'all is a Capricorn and Aquarius here. Some of y'all, this is a Sagittarius, uh huh. Heavy Pisces and Sagittarius energy here that I'm picking up on. Okay. Some of y'all, big changes are coming in your stability. But let's get back to what I was saying. Okay, so some of y'all future is so bright here. And this is why the enemy attacked you as much as they were attacking you because of how big your, how bright and how big your future is. Okay. You couldn't see for some of my, uh, Gemini collectives who don't really have, you know, foresight, you know, you can't really, you may have a little insight, but you don't have foresight. You can't see, um, far into the future or whatever. But, um, what I'm seeing here picking up on your energy okay the whoever you are if this resonates with you like i said claim the energy is your own if it resonates okay but um like i was saying the enemy was attacking you so much and you could have been wondering like why I was i going through all of this all this time you know not saying that you don't go through things i mean it's not typically normal not to go through shit um some people i mean everybody goes through things in their own way i mean it doesn't matter who you are, what you do. I mean, everybody go through shit. But I'm just saying, like, you went through what a lot of people wouldn't have survived. This is what I'm picking up on, Gemini. But you pushed through. You persevered. Like I said in the last read, you kept going. You didn't give up. And it's rewarding that. And for some of y'all, you didn't even realize that you were manifesting a whole new beautiful life. It's something you pray for and you ask for. And there were things being removed out of your life you may not have even understood or understood or overstood. And it's because it was something you were manifesting, you were praying for, okay? And it was delayed. And you didn't understand. You didn't understand. Uh, you didn't enter and over and understand why. You're like, why is this happening to me? Why does it seem like everything is coming against me or fighting against me? Where's all these attacks coming from? Why am I dealing with this? problem why is it where i live is being affected why is it my creativity is being affected why is it that i feel like even my body is being attacked i'm hearing like energetically you felt low and it was because of these people who you were around okay that were coming against you knowingly and unknowingly is what i keep hearing and seeing okay but i'm saying there's something here i'm telling you that you had to wait for 
Mm -hmm. So it was like it was on its way, but there was a blockage here. You know how you, usually you get delayed mail, <laughs> delivery delayed or something delayed. The shipping is delayed or some shit like that. This is what you were dealing with. You had to do a little more inner work is what I'm hearing on yourself in reflection. Okay, there was something unfinished from your past I'm hearing for some of you guys that wasn't resolved. You could have you could have been holding on to a lot of shit that you needed to let go of before this brand new beginning that you've been manifesting and working on could come. But yeah, I'm telling you, your future was so is so damn bright. Okay, maybe you didn't see this coming, but like I said, you're gonna be doing something you never thought that you were gonna be doing, Gemini. And you were being prepared for this shit. Prep for this. Okay, you had the wait. The wait was necessary for preparation. I know y'all heard that before. The weight was necessary for preparation. And I'm just seeing you guys soaring. Yep, it's a lot of things you may have wanted to complete. Some of y'all, maybe you didn't finish college. Or you didn't get to finish doing something that you always wanted to do. I'm seeing that turn around and work in your favor here. Yep. Someone also, something was being delayed. Um, so when you were... You were with, I'm saying, unfinished business. They feel like you two have a lot of things to um, unresolved. That's unresolved, okay? But they could be worried that it's too late because they allowed these other people to come up between this marriage or this um, this connection that you both had or whatever. All right, they allow other people to come in the mix. Uh huh. But I just see you overcoming this and you moving forward here. But yeah, some of y'all have manifested a marriage with the four of wands here. I do see that's going to be successful, but there were people that was coming against you and this person. Attacks were being sent to you and this person. Okay. To your relationship, to your household. There was a lot of envy here because they know that both of you two are destined. For some of you, you know who you are. You have someone you've been talking to and there was something delayed. There was some unresolved things that you know, needed to be handled on both ends, on individually with both of you guys, but in separation, during separation. So the separation was also necessary, okay, for elevation so that they could evolve. And whether if they decide to evolve or not, that ain't on you. <laughs> you did the inner work, though, okay? But this is why people place the thing, even people who were secretly in competition with you that you may not even know, okay, their time is up, especially with their time card here. I'm telling you, yep. I'm also picking up on somebody who had you, that, like you were with this person. They wanted to be with you. They wanted to commit with you. But there was other people you knew and felt that was interfering, that was coming against you guys. Because they know that if you guys would have came together, you would have been this power couple. However you want to say it, you know, you would have been a very powerful, you know, um, couple here. That's what I'm seeing. Hmm. I'm also picking up on, like, two people being together and... Both of you guys having options. At the time, things were delayed. There were other people you both were dealing with at the time. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Third party. Some of y'all could even invite a third person in your room. That's just what I'm saying. That's your business. I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's what you do. That's what you do. But I'm just saying, like, somebody was, you know, married and they were inviting other people in the marriage. That's what I'm saying. They believe in this. Some of them, they believe in, I can't pronounce that word, but it's called poly something. But yeah, an open marriage. Someone had an open marriage here. Mm hmm. Someone you were dealing with or that you were in a relationship. I mean, maybe you were not aware. For some of y'all, I don't feel like y'all were aware of this. This is what I'm picking up on with that seven of swords. There was some deception. Maybe you were not aware of this. Like you just kind of moved on and let it go. And you found that that somebody, you know, had you in a, some type of open marriage or open affair they got. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, some of y'all didn't even realize you have manifested marriage here. You have manifested a marriage of some type of contract, okay? You believed in yourself with this manifested magic. Yep, you manifested this relationship you're in. Some of y'all, this is with a Gemini. Some of y'all are Pisces here. Some of y'all are Aquarius, a Taurus, and a Capricorn. I'm seeing Scorpio here too. And Aries, a Libra, heavy Pisces and Aries energy. Okay, but yeah, you are the Empress. Okay, you're a mother. I, I do see fertility with the Empress. 
you so you manifested a, a child or children in a marriage. This is what you've been manifesting. It says time to act upon your plans. That's why I'm saying the time card here too. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Y'all, it's time to act and, and dive in. It says when you believe, okay, your mind, body, and spirit. Yep, strange encounters, believe. Some of y'all could be 31 here or be born June the 1st or the 3rd. 313 keeps coming out. So if you guys have been seeing that number, that is an answer. That is a, a that's an answer or confirmation three one three, to whatever you've been manifesting, okay. But you definitely got good news on the way. So whatever was delaying you from moving forward or stopping you from like procrastinating, because I'm getting like you could have been procrastinating to do something, or somebody was procrastinating to do something, and now you guys have something unresolved. There's something unresolved here. Something is not getting done. You have to wait. It's a process. Something's pending. Something is being delayed. I'm telling you spiritually, energetically, you were being attacked and financially. Mm -hmm. But you still got good news on the way. You may have had to wait for this right relationship or for, you know, to be able to start a family with this person or something like that. But I'm just seeing something is moving forward. Things are balancing out for you. I definitely see good news coming and you will receive an unexpected text and a call from somebody very special, somebody important. That's what I'm seeing here. We got plenty of material things. Yep. You're very, very abundant at this time, Gemini, or you're about to be Whether if, if you know it or not, something was delayed and nothing was resolved because somebody waited for something to pass time by or some shit, or they were doing something dealing with these other energies with the five of wands to pass the time by. But now all they want is you. They don't want to be, uh, with, they don't want to keep their options open. Let me just say that they're going to choose you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Some of y'all definitely had to learn a lesson here. Okay. You were being ganged up and bullied with that three of cups here. In the seven of swords I'm seeing here. You were being ganged up or bullied in some type of way or stalked or left out. But now you're about to be rewarded or celebrated. We got good luck. There's a check coming. I'm seeing 10000 Something like you're going to hit the jackpot. This is also about reward. Some of y'all could love to go to the casino. I'm seeing 2332 Pisces and Aquarius energy coming out again. You could be seeing threes and twos at this time. Okay, rewards are coming. Big heavy rewards are coming. Because I do see the three of wands. That's about a celebration and the four of wands. That's about harmony coming together. Something that's going to fall together and fall in place. Some of y'all could be 34 or 43. We have trustworthy, understanding, and devoted and funny. There's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. Mm, I love that. That's really excellent. Yep, you're on fire. It's something you're going to be creating or doing. And you're going to be on fire. Yep, and people are going to be awed and wowed by this. Because you're a leader. It says, be a leader. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. Some of y'all could be 21. You can have a Aquarius, Capricornia chart, or Pisces, or Sag. Or be dealing with one. Yep, you're being highly thought of. Yep, you're leading the way. A lot of people are thinking of you. Yep, because you're standing up for others. Because not only are you standing up for yourself and being an advocate for yourself, but other people. Whether if you realize it or not, you're doing something and getting people's attention. Okay, and it's causing some uproar. You got people coming and fighting against you energetically, spiritually, and financially. That's what I'm saying. We got strength, strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. That's what you're needing at this time and being gentle with yourself. Okay, you can have Scorpio somewhere in your chart or Aquarius. Be careful. Do not take risks at this time. You're going to have to have strength and be gentle with yourself. Be kind with yourself. Don't drink the poison. Do not do things you know that's not good for you at this time. Don't take no risk. Okay, don't take no risk, gems. We have here strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. Be gentle with yourself. You can have Leo somewhere predominantly in your chart or be dealing with the Leo. 811 is definitely significant for you. I am seeing a lot of eights here. Uh huh. So that's about infinite abundance. Somebody could be born in 85 here too. You could be born June the 11th, June 1st, June 2nd, or June 1st through the 11th here. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of Capricorn Aquarian energy here. Yep, we have triumph over enemies. What I tell you, you overcame a hardship, especially with the six of swords. Yep, and the seven of swords. You overcame a hardship with the queen of swords. Yeah, you put your motherfucking foot down, and now people, places, and things are saying you're irreplaceable. They saying, damn, we'll never find nobody like Gemini. Like, who would ever find somebody like Gemini? Look what Gemini did. If Gemini could do it, I could do it. See, you were born to be a leader. You were born to stand out. 
this is why these attacks people coming against you things are being delayed at the time you have a lot of people coming against you in your face smiling in your face and people that you probably didn't even know that was coming against you but with the queen of swords you're being protected i told you you're being highly thought of by someone very special this is a loved one that that watches over you you're being highly thought of and they also are straightening some shit out for you they're straightening some things out equalizing some shit you know what i'm saying one two three four that's a balance that's the flow uh -huh, that's harmony that's protection so you're being protected by someone very powerful mm -hmm, that's what i'm saying okay you manifested new that's what i'm saying you manifested all new you got tired of these people places of things trying to hurt you whatever people were really trying you trying to kill and steal and destroy you uh -huh, but you beat the competition yep and they realized this that you overcame what these people were trying to do to you and tear you down or whatever okay because you're chosen you're rare you stand out they were also coming against you because you were different here you're different yep but you're overcoming this you beat the competition you beat the odds i'm hearing against all odds by tupac you need to go listen to that song yeah you did it you made it out some of y'all can have libra in your chart aquarius in your chart that keeps coming out okay whoo that's wonderful gemini we're gonna pull some more cards i just wow that's very beautiful strength is what I keep hearing. Strength got you through. Strength. Having that understanding. You know, sometimes you had to laugh when you didn't want to. But you still push through. Mm hmm Some of y'all had to be there for yourself. You had to encourage yourself. Mm -hmm. You didn't have nobody to lean on. Not like absolutely nobody at all. Mm hmm And now look at you. You acted when you were supposed to. You did the work on yourself internally and externally on the outside, too. Yep. And now I'm seeing marriage here. Some of y'all are going to be meeting the right person. Okay, because you followed you you, you followed the steps. One, two, three, four. You, you did what you were supposed to do. Every step counted. That's what I keep hearing. Yep. That's wonderful. Moving on. Yep. With the pl plenty of material things and you being highly thought of, you're going to have a lot of supporters, people supporting you on something you're doing. Okay. Cause you're going easy on yourself. You're loving yourself. You're manifesting magic. Okay. Cause you're surrendering. Okay. You're on fire, baby. You're just flowing. You just flowing. Some of y'all can have a lot of fire in your chart. Okay. Or earth. I'm seeing earth here too. In the little air here. Yep. But you winning out here. I'm telling you because you're just being yourself authentically. You're being kind to yourself. You're removing all that nasty shit that you could have been holding on to for years. You know what I'm saying? You're releasing. You're purging. You're getting through this. You believed in yourself when no one else did. You didn't accept these crumbs that people gave you. You don't want the crumbs. You want the whole loaf of bread, baby. You are not a snack. You are the entree, baby. You are the creme dollar creme. You are the top tier. Don't ever forget it, okay? You are the bread and butter. You hear me? You're the things that hold... You are the person that holds shit together. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are the backbone, okay? You got a leg to stand on, and it's your own, and it's because you had to survive. You had to overcome a lot of the shit that no one else would have been able to, okay? But you definitely got good news, and you will be receiving an unexpected text or call from somebody who's been holding back for a while, okay? Or someone who was delaying something, or someone who, something's been pending, you've been waiting, you've been like, oh, shit, when is this going to happen? And you're finally going to get that call or that communication, okay? But continue to be a leader, be a leader, stand out, believe in yourself, and don't, don't ever accept what anyone thinks that they should give you, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, whoever y'all about to get married to, I'm seeing strong emotion, a passionate love for this person. But I'm also seeing something about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have strong emotions for. And I'm talking about passionate love for it, but this also hate. <laughs> it's kind of bittersweet with this person. Somebody's going out of your life or something is ending here, gems, for a reason. I'm saying involvement with the law. Yeah, somebody's going home. Somebody's hanging it up. I'm saying someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. That's what was going on. But someone's new is entering your life. So I told you, you're going through your ending cycles and starting new ones. Brand new phases in your life. So whatever is ending, baby, was meant to end, boo. Okay? Because there's someone new entering your life. And it's going to be an exciting new event. Some of y'all, this is marriage. Long-term commitment. So, y'all, this is something guaranteed, success, guaranteed, wealth. 
Yep, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. What I tell you, scales, keep your life in balance. As long as you're keeping your life in balance, you will you will steady flow in that frequency of balance, harmony, uh, things falling into place and things falling in alignment. Because as within, so without health is wealth. Hmm. So you're taking care of yourself internally. You're doing what the hell you're supposed to. You're releasing those thoughts. Those are not your thoughts. Those thoughts you've been having are not your thoughts. You are bigger than your thoughts. Those are not your thoughts that you've been having, especially if you know you wouldn't usually think that way. Those are psychic attacks, baby. You need to cleanse and free your mind and let your mind run free. And whatever is uh, on your mind, okay, you need to pray against that shit. Okay, keep your life in balance and use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Because we have heard the star. Star sees guaranteed success. Okay, somebody was being extremely stubborn and unwilling to change or unwilling to do something. Okay, but I'm saying that was great worry over nothing. Some of y'all were in need of help and assistance and guidance. And you were dealing with someone who was extremely stubborn and unwilling to help or unwilling to change. Okay. But there's going to be great worry over nothing. I'm telling you, triumph over enemies. I'm seeing an announcement. Okay. Family matters. Family matters. That's what I'm also seeing. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Yep. Situations in balance that require careful handling. Dealings of relationship with a younger man. News of birth of a business or new opportunity. Heartache over what you no longer have. So let that shit go because it's going to be success behind that pain. Everything you went through, I'm telling you, was not in vain. Everything you went through was not a vain. I'm telling you, your future was so motherfucking bright. And it is so damn bright. I'm telling you, you have something big you're going to be doing. And you're going to change a lot of lives around you. I'm telling you. And it's only because you were born to lead. Okay? To stand out. That's what you were born to do. And you are on fire. Okay? Manifesting your dreams. Everything you wanted. All it took was you for you to tap into your inner strength, your inner goddess, your inner feminism, okay, and your balance, and to balance out your masculinity as well, because they both coexist. Yeah, your masculine and feminine energy, okay. Somehow, your life is in balance. Is what I'm saying. It's about to fall into things. Are about to fall into place. You had some type of little shake up, some type of delay, but you're gonna start to see things pick back up. Is what I'm hearing. Nothing can stop you if God is with you. Who can be against you? Okay, 311 can be significant. March 11th, November the 11th, November the 3rd, March the 3rd, May the 5th. Yeah, interesting. Well, let's pull some more cards and then we're going to close out this reboot. I'm glad I was able to give you guys a wonderful message last night. I mean, I really was trying to hold it together, but it was kind of making me very emotional. I'm just being real. The messages I, I was receiving last night. We have her gentle, loving, dreamy, and open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. I mean, read between the lines. You already know what that is. It's time to move quickly. Choose logic of emotions. Sudden changes are coming. Nana Aria, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Wow. Do, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career. Or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. Y'all got that again. That's wonderful. Release yourself from which holds you back. A need to detox. Un unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So some of you guys got to get out your emotions. When making this decision, there's a decision that's going to come up. And it's going to be very important. You're going to have to really get out your feels when it comes to this. Um, at, this at this time. And it's not that we... We can't operate through our emotions or whatever, but we have to be gentle and be still with ourselves. We have to understand, understand, and understand that some shit is just out of our control and it's just great worry over nothing, you know, because whatever's supposed to happen is supposed to happen the way it's supposed to happen. I'm not saying that you can't will it and you don't have control over like your running vehicle when you're driving on the road because you do. However, let spirit be your God. Let your intuition, let the most high be your God and you will never go wrong. That's, that's it pretty much. There's a decision though. Okay. But you're going to be doing what it is that you love. Okay. You're going to have to make that choice. Okay. Because hard work is going to lead to great success here. So it's time to get to acting and whatever is, whatever got you, whatever it is that's got you procrastinating and shit, 
or you may have felt like you had to keep waiting and waiting and waiting and you feel like nothing was ever going in your favor that's all about to change gemini okay queen of Ariel, mature practical generous and happy this is what you're about to be in this energy this is your overall energy you're about to be very generous be able to help other people you're gonna make so much damn money you're gonna be able to give to others and help others when you want to i'm hearing nothing but financial prosperity and peace peace of mind you're gonna have everything you need you ever wanted especially with that full of material things that empress energy you have called your energy back in you are i'm telling you mature you're going to be very mature practical and happy here nurture yourself and those you love the ability to make anything more beautiful practical and wise advice Ooh, love it that's the energy you're going to be in and you're going to be just manifesting magic the magic is in you always remember that okay it's always in you you're all walking miracle whether if you know it or not <clears throat> But I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to stop it there. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. Infinity till infinity. Over and out.